All right, guys, so ever since I posted that last video where I had the car running without the computer system, I've been getting a ton of emails about people asking me how to do it. Um, so I decided to make this quick video just to try to help out um, any of you guys that I can. Now, I guess the best advice I can give you is if you're going to convert your car to run on straight motor, no computer at all, or at least limit the computer, the best thing I can tell you is to learn the system on your car. You know, what that means is understand everything that is controlled by the computer in your car. All cars are not the same. All conversions are not the same. Um, different manufacturers, you know, set up their cars differently. So you could have a car where just the motor will run off the computer, or you can have one where everything runs off the computer, from the electrical system to the fuel system, the fuel pump, everything will run off that computer. So if you remove the computer from a car that that the computer controls everything, now you're either going to have to replace parts or find ways to make all these things run without um, the aid of the computer. So my advice is before you start tearing out wires, before you even start spending money on parts, the best thing you can do is research your system. A lot of times there are vehicles that are earlier models of your car, um, and with those earlier models, a lot of times you can take the parts from that to use to convert yours. Um, if you have a car that doesn't have it, that didn't have an earlier model, and you're, you're swapping out stuff, my, my advice is learn your computer system first. The best way to do it, I mean, you can look up the schematics, but I know a lot of people don't like to deal with electrical, so a more hands-on approach is to trace all the wires. Start at your computer and trace the harness and see everywhere that that harness goes to. Everything that harness controls, is that computer controls, at, you're going to have the computer on one end of the harness and whatever is controlled is going to be at the other end. So the best thing to do is trace it, see what it controls, and then you have an idea of whether or not that's a job that you want to tackle. Maybe you want to send it to G7, I don't know. But either way, if it's a job that you want to tackle yourself, you want to make sure that you know what you're getting into prior to just pulling wires out. I mean, the easy thing to do, I know when you guys read stuff and see blogs, they're like, oh, change the car in the distributor. But believe me, that's the hack way. You know, that's, that's a small part of it, of what has to be done. Um, but again, it depends on your vehicle. If your vehicle, like for instance, if the electrical system is tied into your computer, that means that the, the voltage regulator for your alternator is in the computer. So if you remove that computer without either making your alternator externally regulated or just changing it to an internally regulated alternator, then your car won't charge and you won't even know why. Your fuel pumps are not going to work. Nothing's going to work if it's controlled by the computer and you take the computer out. So, as I said before, learn your systems, guys. Learn your systems. Believe me. You know, if you want to do these, this, this kind of job, it's, it, anybody, I'm not going to say anybody, but a lot of you guys can do it. And it just, it's just a matter of taking, taking your time and... Um, you know, really doing it right. You don't want to be on the side of the road. Um, you want to make sure that you are able to enjoy your car. So the best way to do it, learn your system, take your time, read up on it, watch some videos if you want, but whatever you read and whatever you watch, make sure that it relates to your car. If you're doing a Dodge, if you're doing a Ford, don't watch Chevy videos. Don't read Chevy blogs. Read the ones that apply to your car. All right, guys, hopefully this helps. Um, if you guys got any questions that maybe I can help you, hit me up at newcarsuck.com. All right, Grand 7 Auto Works at newcarsuck.com.